Recent updates to Felt now allow you to group your layers. You can now quickly and easily add or remove a layer from a group, and then specify which layers and groups will show up in your legend. Let's have a closer look at these features. I'm going to come up here to the layer library and go to the nature and exploration category. At the bottom right, we have a layer for US national parks. I'm just going to add this to my map and voila, now I have my parks. You'll see them right here. But over here in the legend, you'll notice this isn't just one individual layer. It's in fact a group of five layers. So if I grab this US national parks title here, you can see over in the style editor, we have a group of five layers. And as I select these individual layers, then you'll see the parameters that correspond to the layer show up in the style editor. So there's actually a lot going on here. And if I zoom all the way in to one individual park, let's for example, take a look at Yosemite. Now let's say in this example, I don't want to have all of this information. I just want to look at, let's say two particular things. I only want to see the boundary of the park and I want to see the campgrounds. So I could right away just turn off the visibility of trailhead and trail directly here in the legend. Now we're good to go, right? That's what we want. Not quite, because we can still see this information in the legend, and this is actually what our viewers are gonna see. Not only will they be able to see it, but they can also toggle the visibility of these back on if they so desire. So how can I totally hide these from the legend? Well, if you grab one of these layers, and go down here to the bottom right, you'll see a new section for legend. And if you simply hover your cursor over here and press this minus key, voila, we have now removed trails from the legend. And I can do the same thing with trailhead. I'm gonna select it, go down to legend, and just get rid of it. Naturally, these layers have not been deleted as we can still see them here. So where did they go? Well, we need to actually jump over into list view to see them. So if I just click on list, now we can see all of our layers right here. So it's really important that you understand the difference between legend and list. List is essentially where you're gonna make all your changes and your customizations as a map editor. And legend is what everybody's gonna see on your map if you decide to embed that or share it with your map. Okay, let's say I've changed my mind and now I do indeed wanna see these trails on the map. However, I want them to be on their own individual layer. Well, that's incredibly easy to do with Felt's new grouping feature. I'll simply grab trailhead, hold control or command key and grab trail. And now over here in the style editor, you'll see I have two layers selected. And if I click on this little overflow menu, you'll see a section right down here for group. So now I can either group this selection or remove it from this group. And once again, take note of these keyboard shortcuts because these are once again, incredibly useful. And if you're gonna be moving layers around a lot, it's very important to know these keyboard shortcuts and they're very easy to remember. So if I group this selection now, it will remove these from the existing group and create a new group, which I can call trails. So there's a few different ways you can do the same thing. You can group and remove from group using the overflow menu or even this little button right here. So now we have this new group for trails, and then we have a group for US National Parks. So if we jump back over into the legend, you'll notice we have this new trails layer, but we can't, however, see the individual layers in here because once again, we toggled these off for legend. So you can see how dynamic and uh, basically the plethora of customization options you have now. So you can turn off the legend on an individual layer basis within a group, but still keep that group available to be visible in the legend. You can also add captions on a layer or a group level. So for example, if I go grab US National Parks, in the legends section, I can add a caption and just say boundaries and campgrounds. Now when I view the legend, you can see it right here for the group. If I go grab an individual layer, I can add another caption here. These are campgrounds and voila, we now have captions on our individual layers within our group but I'll go ahead and get rid of those captions. And now I wanna keep it extra simple. So I just wanna see these two individual layers. So I'm gonna to go to the campground and I'm just gonna remove campground and campsite from the legend as well as the park boundary. I only wanna see this particular group name, the US National Parks. So now if I jump back to legend, here we have US National Parks and trails. Once again, this is what our viewer is gonna see when they look at our map. And they're not gonna see all of our elements and layers within our list view. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you wanna stay up to date on all of Felt's new features, be sure to subscribe to our channel and activate notifications. See you in the next one.